when it comes to the athletes I work with, competence maybe takes a different form. So that there's definitely that kind of self-esteem factor uh, to play, but it's probably more so about the being able to train injury free without restriction and being able to take away any, any roadblocks and performance that are potentially holding them back. So I guess the first priority with any, any S and C program is maximizing uh, the athletes availability to, to train and perform at the highest possible level so they can get the most from, from their sport training sessions, um, yep. making sure they're not going to break down and making sure they are not thinking about the ankle or the hamstring. So second, in terms of the roadblocks, like, we want to make sure that athletes aren't limited by the lack of speed, the lack of power, making sure that they can capitalize on all the, all the affordances and the movement landscape um, and their physicality isn't. Yeah. It's probably more of a dual approach here in terms of yes, the self-esteem and the confidence factor, but also the confidence in the, in the physicality and their body and being yeah. able to do what they, they need to do and want to do.